bracelet. Hi, David. Christine. <laughs> uh, what's up? The basketball trials. I was thinking as team captains we should talk tactics. Sure. Cool. Are my conversational skills that lacking? Well, it's not you, you're just... You're not a basketball, I guess. Of course. David is a jock, therefore he is required to want a sport above all other things. Uh, you make it sound so dorky. I love it. You are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hello again, ladies and David. I believe you are discussing the game of basketball. This is team talk. Players only? Oh, well then how do I become a player? <laughs> <laughs> Mm, she's actually serious. Yeah. The thing is that the girls' team's kind of full right now, so... Well, uh, hold up. No, no, you said you were doing trials. Did I? Mm. No. No. Mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I did. But, as it happens, we're looking for people who can actually play. <laughs> yeah, so give Rebecca a chance. For all you know, she could be the greatest player since Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what he said. Yeah. Fine. Since she's so desperate to humiliate herself, might as well try out. David, fetch. <laughs> oh, Hazel, I need your help with something. Yes, your backup. What is it you want? Well, I need your help with basketball. Not you. But you just asked if I... Oh, that's Rebecca. And this is Sophie. We raised him from frog spawn. You named them after us. Well, Rebecca's the prettiest. <laughs> so I see. In any case, I did not venture here to bicker about amphibians. Hazel, I need your help with basketball. I'm oh, sorry, Rebecca, but we have but one day to hand in our biology assignment. These guys are due into Miss Pemberton tomorrow, complete with growth charts and feeding plans. <laughs> By the way, what's for breakfast? Oh, well, crunchy bug surprise! <laughs> Do you want to stay now? Oh, oh, oh. no! <laughs> oh, yummy! Constance Ethelred Ainsworth. What is this? Just merely a sampler. Well, I can see that. Why are you not busting sick moves on your singing wonder dance mat? Because I greatly prefer embroidery. What matters not what you prefer. All that matters is keeping up appearances. Oh, I had entirely forgotten. Mother's secret drawer. Oh. Mother's locket. The one she gave to me. This used to belong to Grandmama. And then it was mine, and now it is yours. But Rebecca is the eldest. Should it not be hers by right? My dear, honorable Sophie, Rebecca has scores of trinkets. And besides, she does not care for old things. But you will treasure this, I know. She must have put it here after, you know.
we died. What is past is past. We must concentrate on the future. Indeed. Right, well, you will help me to learn basketball. Basketball? Yes! Oh! Oh, Rebecca, my legs! Oh, I cannot be seen like this. Oh, Sophie, chill out. This is standard basketball get-up. I think it is rather becoming. <laughs> but breeches, Rebecca, like a boy, and ending so very high above the ankle. I cannot believe this sport is befitting for young ladies. Well, you played croquet, did you not? Father said I was the finest player on the entire estate. <laughs> Right, well, think of it as air croquet, just with a different ball and a hoop. Mm. Quickly, please. Oh. Yes, I'm quickly! Fast, yes! Shoot, Steve! Shoot! Go! Shoot! Yes! Go! Go! Do not be nervous. You just follow me. For a nun. Hey, catch. Shoot. Hey, shoot. Come on, shoot it. Shoot, shoot. shoot. Rebecca. Shoot. 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 shoot the ball. Oh, I cannot. Throw it, Sophie. All will be well, I promise. Go on, take a shot. Work, Sophie. Your sister's good. So it would seem. Are you gonna try it for the girls' team too? I could teach you a few moves. Uh, I do not know. I have so little experience. Oh, we would be delighted to accept your kind offer, would we not, Sophie? Uh... Cool. I'll see you at lunch. Well, look, this is the nearest you'll ever get to dating David, so um, I'd make the most of it. Oh, thank you, Christine. I intend to. <sighs> David, what do you think? I think you'd better wash your face before we get going. David? Uh, trust me, you, you wear mascara on court and you're blinded as soon as you start to sweat. But I do not perspire. I, I can't coach you looking like this. I, I won't be responsible for the consequences. Come on, Sophie, let's get started. Ah, so you're the reason the room smells like the bottom of a pond. My frogs do not smell. They're clean and intelligent and the most fascinating creatures. Yeah, I know. So, have you done the dissection class yet? What? Did he just say dissection? Dissection class? Yeah. You know, when you look inside the frog. Um, help? It's awesome. Oh, you're not even breaking a sweat. What's your secret? Nothing. I don't have a secret. Oh, you Brits really are cold-blooded. Anyone else would be sweating like a camel's armpit in there. Actually, it is a trifle warm. Oh. Oh. Rebecca, what happened to you? I, I thought David was to coach both of us. So did I. But now I think he should not coach either of us. Well, Rebecca, this is most unwelcome news. For I truly believe that I was getting into it. <laughs> oh, I noticed. Indeed, I never witnessed such an unladylike display. Rebecca? 
How dare you criticize my morals when you were all over David like a case of scarlet fever? Oh, you are just just jealous. What do you possess that I have to be jealous that I'm a proactive woman? My goodness. Your simpering, swooning ways are out. Decency will never be outmoded. And where is the decency in stealing your sister's bow? David is not your bow. Oh, so then you are interested in him then? No. I... Rebecca, Sophie, what is happening? I could hear you from the common room. Oh, Hazel, do not exaggerate. But I could. You were squabbling over a boy. It is unseemly and old-fashioned. And what yes. has Sophie's oh, locket got to do with any of this? gave the locket to me. I said so nothing of your locket. Lock be quiet! How be quiet, both of you! She is Charles and David. She is Donald Mother's lock. She pretends to be the spot of her. But she's always a secret. I can still bear to let me have one thing of my own. I will not. She is Charles and David. She is Donald Mother's lock. Stop it! Stop it! What have you been saying to her? Nothing. It was as if she'd wrecked my mind. Oh, no. She could hear what I was saying. Do you think she can? Well, if that is the case, it is a shame she has departed, for I would love you to hear what I am thinking right now. Where are you going? I'm returning to my basketball coaching. No, you are not. I forbid it. First you force me to play, then you forbid me. Well, I am not your lady's maid. <sighs> I've definitely got mm. these cats beat. All red. Is that good? Playing cards and philosophy. How hard All can this be? I know what I'm doing, but I must protect the lollies. And I think I'm hearing people's thoughts. Oh. Well, it sounds like you have a case of psychic empathy. Ah, empathy is a great gift. I run plans an enemy, then crush him like a beetle! I don't wish to crush anyone. Then use your power for good. As it teaches you the feelings of others, it will show you what is right. Look, all I want to do is to stop my sisters from arguing. How do I do that? You wish me to crush them for you! Call the credit. The chick needs a more mellow solution. You dig? <laughs> right. Could I crush maybe just one of them? <laughs> I don't think so, but thank you anyway. The truth is, you can't live their lives for them. No, your sisters must find their own path, as must you. Their happiness will bring it into your agony, you know? Hmm? Come on, you can make this shot. No, no, you can. Just breathe. Focus. Now, enter the zone. It's like just a ball in a hoop, right? Like, what's the biggie? Uh, like? OK, let's go again. Whoa! <laughs> OK, get them moving a bit fast. Ease up. Whenever you're ready, sir. It's okay. I'll see you at the trough. Now look what you've done! There we go, a lovely cup of tea. Mrs. Heathfield, don't you think the grounds are looking particularly magnificent this time of year? Stunning, yes, Would absolutely you like stunning. I want to be anywhere else but back. here. The lovely school tea. governor's meetings are always Who so tired. Like Mrs. Heathfield, I have wonderfully fresh sandwiches. If this poor woman oh, doesn't stop talking soon, she'll spontaneously combust. <laughs> Hazel, can we help you? Um, help us! Someone! Someone get us out of No, Miss Dunnigan. Um, no. Hazel, where have you been? I finished colouring in all the pie charts. Help us, please! What are we supposed to do? What is that? What do you want me to do? Here, take these to the lab. I'm late for advanced maths. Matty? What happens to the frogs after we hand them in? We get an A. It's all that matters. See ya. <laughs> get us out of this thing. Please help us. Hazel, you've got to help us. Please help us. Please help Hazel, us. Hazel, hurry up. Please help us. 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 Jump to that point. 
Away. I hope you realise that. Freedom! Well, Jonathan said that in biology class we have to look inside frogs. Yeah, they play us a DVD. Hazel, you angel, thank you. Oh, you didn't think we were actually going to do anything to them, did you? Fresh air, beautiful. Oh, you did. Well, where do you think they could be going? This is one. No. Ainsworth, you've really got to. Ah! It is not my fault David wanted to teach me. Because of me. It is always because of me who learns the new slang, who studies the new fashions, me. Who had the courage to appeal to the Ghost Council in the first place? Me. Seriously, who would ever choose you over me? Mother did. She gave the locket to me, not to you. <sighs> How could you? Sophie, I... Ah! Ah! Daddy, ah! Ah! I can't have to apologize enough for this. Ah! 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 Ainsworth. <laughs> Do these things belong to you? Oh, and, and me. Yes, but it was I who released them. In that case, we'll be seeing what Mr. Griffin has to say about this. <laughs> no! Rebecca! Oh, Jonathan, I, I did the most hideous thing. I threw Sophie's locket out of the window and now she will hate me for... Oh, it's all right, it's all right. <laughs> but Sophie's locket! Rebecca, I really wouldn't worry about Sophie right now. Why not? I'd worry about Hazel. Hazel? Mr. Griffin, do not punish Hazel. It was all my fault. Yes. Really? Sophie here has been saying exactly the same thing. How like Sophie to take the blame for me? Well, it was not them, it was me. Hazel, I was trying to save Sophie and Rebecca. I'm confused. So am I. Mind you, I'm also impressed. The way you girls stick together, I have never seen such loyal sisters. <laughs> you know, the school governors were actually able to see the funny side of it all. You did certainly liven up their lunch. <laughs> and as a bit of a nature lover myself, what say we forget about the whole thing? The whole thing? <laughs> How did you... You go first. When I left our dorm, I ran into Matty. She told me Hazel was in trouble, so I went straight to Griffith. Oh, right after you picked up the locket? No. There was not time. But I went and looked, and the locket was gone. Oh, hi, girls. Where did you get that? Does it matter? Find his key, please. Rebecca. Oh, is that Sophie's locket? Yes. yes. It contains a lock of my mother's hair. I don't think so. See, it's not yours. Oh, sorry. No. See at the trial, so. <laughs> Lock of hair. Gross. Glad I've been dead. <laughs> Danny! Over here. Over here. Catch oh. this! Here, pass me. Here, I'll pass. show her. Me. Pass, pass, pass. Oh. Oh. Beginner's luck. Oh. Sophie, find the pass. Yeah, back to me. Pass, 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 pass. So unfair. I've never even got a chance. There's no way she'll get this in. How does she do yeah. this? Right, time's up, Sophie. Let's see what you've really got. Okay, everyone gather around for team selection. Right. Danny, Chantel, and Alice. You're all in. So that means there's only one spot left, which means it's Piper or Sophie. OK, Piper, go for it. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Never mind, it's just nerves. Yeah. Try again. Wait! I believe it is Sophie's turn. All right, Sophie. Shoot. Do not be nervous, Sophie. Right, Sophie. You can do this. Miss it. Miss it. Just throw it in the hoop. Suppose you better have this. No, thank you. No? Give it to Piper. It is more her sort of thing. <laughs> but why? Because friendship is more important than basketball. And I am already in the best team in school. <laughs> hey, Sophie. I think this is yours. My locket. Did Christine give it to you? I swapped it. You gave Christine your identity bracelet. Oh, oh David. Yes. Thank you. That was nothing. See ya. Rebecca, look. Mother's hair. Oh. Turn around. Beautiful. <laughs> so, what did you have to give David in return? Free maths tuition for a month. And why would you do that? No reason. No reason at all. Ah, I see. <laughs> what? See what? Oh, nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. You do realise you were going to fail biology now. I know. But Matty understands. She says some things are just more important than science projects. <laughs> Thank you for saving me today, although there was really no need. I beg your pardon. If not for us, you would have been stuck in detention for the rest of your life. Well, at least the voices in my head have stopped. <laughs> <laughs> 